So Cleo has managed to get one of my videos taken down. She false flagged it, or one of her white knights false flagged it. This is what you do when you can't debate. You try to censor people. Well, I got news for you, Miss Cleo, and I'm going to call you Miss Cleo from now on because just like the real Miss Cleo, you're a fraud. You can't censor me, and I'm going to prove it to you right now because I'm going to respond and refute one of your terrible videos. So let's just jump right into it. I'm so sick of filming videos of no makeup in the dark, but I thought I needed to clear up some things. The reason why it is anti-Semitic to say that the European Jews aren't indigenous, or at the very least, I know that the word indigenous is somewhat controversial, but at the very least from the Levant region is because it's playing into pseudoscientific race theories and 19th century scientific racism directed toward Jews. In the 19th century, there was this movement to discredit Jews being the real Jews because... Okay, this is completely false. Um, the 19th century, that's when the Zionist movement first began. And the Zionist movement was nothing more than Ashkenazi separatist movement. That's it. There was no concerted effort to deny European Jews being, you know, quote unquote, the real Jews, because it wouldn't make any sense. If there was a Ashkenazi separatist movement, and you're dealing with a bunch of, bunch of anti-Jewish people, they would want to get rid of the Jews. So why would they try to discredit the assertions that Ashkenazis were making at this time that they are from the Middle East? That doesn't make any sense. That, that's a direct contradiction. And in fact, she contradicts herself on this assertion later on, and I'll point it out when we get to it. Because, again, we often have this conflict in anti-Semites where they are religious and they follow an Abrahamic religion, but they are also anti-Semitic. So a way to kind of uh, grapple with the reality that they are prejudiced against people who are also part of a group of people that they worship is to say that they are not really the real Jews. Anti-Semitism most of the time is... Okay, no. There are people in modern times, after 1948, that have said that Ashkenazis are not from the Middle East. So... This is an anti-Zionist argument. It is not in any way anti-Jewish. Which she she's going to keep on using the word anti-Semitic. Um, I'll put that aside for now. But she's using a misnomer. But that's a, a subject for another video. So this canard that saying Ashkenazis are not from the Middle East arises as an anti-Zionist argument, and the Zionist rebuttal to that is their rebuttal to everything, to just call it anti-Semitic. So. Cleo, Miss Cleo, used to be a Zionist, and now she's trying to say that she's not a Zionist, but clearly she has retained all of that brainwashing. See, all of the, the platitudes that Zionists brainwashed her to believe, she still retains that. Quite Eurocentric, and it's specifically based on Ashkenazis, Ashkenazi features, Ashkenazi history, Ashkenazi stereotypes. Um, and a lot of people don't realize when they're specifically targeting the European Jews, what they're doing is they're kind of perpetuating this European standard of anti-Semitism. I don't want to go to- All right, so there, there's so many problems with what she's saying right now. So she's assuming that she's an Ashkenazi. And like I said in my previous video, I don't believe that she actually is. She does not look like an Ashkenazi at all. An Ashkenazi, they have black hair. and They don't have eyes like she does. She's probably a Slavic Jew, so I'm going to have to bring up... Uh, she might be a Slavic Jew, she might be a Caucasian Jew, so a Caucasian Jew. There are lots of different names for uh, this group of people. They can be called Mountain Jews, Caucasus Jews, and then a whole bunch of other names here. This is probably what she is. Um, the thing is, is that if you look over here... Uh, these people are white, by the way, so Caucasian Jews are from the Caucasus region. You know, that's why they call them mountain Jews. The Caucasus region is a mountainous region, the Caucasus Mountains. And But the problem is, is that they actually lump these uh, these people in with the Mizrahi Jews. The reason why this is so problematic is because these people are white, but the Mizrahi Jews are assumed to be Middle Eastern, but they're not. So back then, they actually called East European Jews Mizrahi Jews. So... If she's Jewish, which I actually don't even believe she's Jewish at this point, but I'll get into that later, she would be Mizrahi. 
she's not she's not actually actually an ashkenazi at all too deeply into this because i made a whole other video about this very shortly ago but basically all jews are from the levant region and no 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 they're not okay this is a construct of zionism zionists lied about first of all they never said all jews whenever they say all jews they're just talking about ashkenazis uh, maybe some other white jews um you know if she's a caucasian jew she's an ashkenazi whenever it's convenient for them to say that she's an ashkenazi but when it's convenient for them to lie and say oh most uh, israelis are mizrahi jews then a person like her would become a mizrahi jew <laughs> um but no um judaism is not a gene it's a meme anyone can convert and become jewish immigrated out of there about 1500 years ago and most jews did go to europe and by the way um kind of what throws no 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 that's not true most jews did not go to europe there were some jews that went to europe i'll get into that in a second but Actually, uh, most Jews stayed in the Middle East, okay? This might come as a shocker to you, Miss Cleo, but before 1948 and before the age of Zionism in the late 1800s, there were still Jews living in the Middle East. They didn't leave. They never left. There was a wrench into this convert theory is that Jews did not go from Palestine to Eastern Europe. They settled in, uh, you know, Southern Italy, Western Europe, and then eventually Eastern Europe. Eastern. Okay, so... Um, believe it or not, there's actually some truth to what she's saying, sort of. I agree that Jews did not migrate from Palestine to Eastern Europe. The Jews that live in Eastern Europe are converts. So the mountain Jews, these are Khazari Jews. So the Khazar Empire converted to Judaism. And as you can see here, this region covers the Caucasus region. The, the Khazars eventually converted to Judaism. Now, she might counter this and say that Ashkenazis are not descended from Khazars. And I would actually agree with that. But the problem is, is that she's not an Ashkenazi. She's probably a Caucasian Jew. And this is the this is the reason why there's a lot of like muddying in kind of the conversation, because a lot of white Jews are actually caucasian jews you see what the problem is is like if you if you think you're ashkenazi just because you're white you're going to assume that you must be from the lineage of ashkenazis and not from the lineage of the khazars you see the problem because these people who think they're ashkenazis are not they're caucasian jews or maybe slavic jews you see the the word mizrahi originally referred to all Eastern Europe, European Jews, including Slavic Jews, uh, Jews from Georgia, not the state, the country, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then like it, then later on, it just bunched a bunch of Middle Eastern Jews in with these Eastern European Jews to inflate the numbers. That's what's going on here. Jews migrated to Italy and then to Western Europe. There were Jews that lived in the Iberian Peninsula, which is Portugal and Spain, but they came in with the the Muslim conquest of the Iberian Peninsula. So they, they actually came from the west and migrated to the east. So this is Muslim Spain. The Sephardic Jews, they likely came from the west with the Muslims when they conquered the Iberian Peninsula. However, Ashkenazis likely did not come with them in this direction. Now, when the when Al-Andalus fell, when Muslim Spain fell, uh, it's likely that the Sephardic Jews retreated back to the Middle East with, um, with their Muslim brethren. By the way, shows you that the Muslims and Jews cooperated. But these Jews, by the way, were Arabs. Okay, They're not white people. They were, they were Arabs. When it comes to the Ashkenazis, what likely happened, and in a sense, I actually agree with Cleo <laughs> for once, but she, she doesn't have a good understanding of, uh, of what she's talking about. Ashkenazis likely descended from Jewish collaborators that collaborate with the Romans. There was something called the Bar Kokhba Revolt. 
this is going to become important later, but basically after this revolt, which was part of the Jewish Roman wars, the Romans won this war. They won these wars. And after this revolt, they outlawed uh, Jewish proselytization. So she's going to say that Jews don't convert. This is a lie. This is not true. They do, or at least they did. But what happened was after this revolt, the Romans outlawed conversion. So they outlawed Jews to proselytize. And that's what happened. Now, there were Jewish collaborators who collaborated with the Romans. What this means is that there were Jews who betrayed their own people and assisted the Romans in helping to defeat their own people. So these Jewish collaborators were buddy buddies with uh, the Romans. And what likely happened is that when the Roman Empire began to decline, the seat of power receded. So the Romans had to pull out from Jerusalem at some point. And obviously the collaborators weren't going to stick around because if they did, they would be killed. So the collaborators just went with the Romans um, to Rome. And once they were in Rome, they would be in privileged positions and uh, had access to white women. Um, and that's and they would convert the the wives that they would take because, you know, they were in some semi prestigious positions. And that's likely where the Ashkenazis came from. Europe was actually the final migration place of Ashkenazis. So they, they're not from there. And we have lots of evidence that they moved in these different regions of the Middle East and Europe. So it's not a religion like Islam, where if you just believe in it, you can convert. The ethnicity of Jews has always been very implicit in the religion itself. No, <laughs> no, it hasn't. Um, so this is not true. Uh, once again, all I have to do is just look it up. <laughs> Kingdom of Edom. Um, so here's an example of uh, a direct contradiction to what she's saying. The Kingdom of Edom was forcibly converted to Judaism. It says so right here. Go look it up. You see, unlike her, I'm actually providing my citations. This entire kingdom was converted to Judaism against their will. And they also were forcibly circumcised, just so you know. Again, against their will. Um, this is not the only example of mass conversion. There's another one. The Khazar Empire uh, had converted to Judaism. The reason why Zionists are anathema to Khazars and the Khazar theory um, is because it directly refutes uh, the claims that Ashkenazis come from the Middle East. Now, like I said, I don't actually believe that Ashkenazis are descended from Khazars. However, what muddies the water is who the hell is actually an Ashkenazi. And the misconception, and the misconception that Miss Cleo is making here is that she incorrectly assumes that all white Jews are Ashkenazis. No, they're not. Okay, Miss Cleo is very likely um, friggin' uh, Caucasian Jew. She's, again, assuming she's Jewish at all, but I'll, I'll get to that later. Um, so, yeah, here you have yet another example of mass conversion to Judaism, which uh, proves that she's wrong. And also, in other Jewish traditions outside of uh, Ashkenazi traditions of Judaism, they convert. They convert people to Judaism all the time. Whenever people, and also even within different Jewish uh, sects in Ashkenazis, um, they convert people all the time, too, you know, whenever they get married. How do you think people get married to, to the Gentiles, to the Goy, as she would call them? <laughs> you convert them. I have a whole other video on this, but basically when we're saying that there's absolutely no relation between Ashkenazi Jews and Palestine, or the Levant region, I should say, more broadly speaking, um, what you're contributing to is this pseudoscientific race theories about Jews not being the ancient Judeans. Okay. Um, no. <laughs> no. Um, now, here's the thing. I'm going to show you, just to throw a monkey wrench into all this, I'm going to show you this right now. This is a DNA analysis of some Italian guy who uh, just decided to do a, a DNA analysis of himself. And as you can see here at the bottom, even this Italian guy, who's not Jewish, still has Levantine DNA in him. 
You see at the bottom, it says Arab, Egyptian, and Levantine. Levantine, he has 0.7%. That's about what Ashkenazis have anyway. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that Ashkenazis are just Italians. You know, maybe there was a founder effect um, with, uh, you know, these collaborator Jews, who, by the way, they were Arabs. Okay, I'm just telling you right now. These Arabs were Jews for hundreds, if not thousands of years before a single white person ever was. But uh, the extent to which Ashkenazis are Levantine isn't any isn't particularly uh, profound any more than just some random Italian white guy. Get get out of here. Get out of here. All right, let's listen more to what she's talking about. Because again, racist white people couldn't contend with the idea that the Jewish people that they're racist against at the time were the real Jews that they were. Okay, okay. The, the, were the real Jews. What does that even mean? All right. Here's another truth bomb for you. Now, she said before ancient Judeans. This seems to be like something. They, they, they got the, the word that uh, ancient Israelites weren't Jews. And, well, here's the proof. Uh, yeah, ancient Israelites were not Jews. Okay. And when every time she says ancient Judeans, th this is actually who she's talking about. She's talking about the ancient Israelites. And ancient Israelites were not Jewish. So as you can see here, Yahwism is the name given by modern scholars to the religion of ancient Israel. Yahwism was essentially polytheistic with a plethora of gods and goddesses. Oops, sorry. You're not even the same religion as ancient Israelites. And like I said, I think they got the hint that this has been going around, probably thanks to me, that ancient Israelites are not Jewish. They, they were not Jewish. They weren't even monotheistic. They were polytheistic. I also have more bad news for you. Uh, the thing is, is that um, Judaism itself is not even the is not even like the original religion. Judaism's just a, a fork, or as I I like to call a ripoff of Samaritanism. You know, similar to how Christianity is a fork, a schism of Judaism. Judaism itself is a schism of this older religion called Samaritanism. And Samaritans consider Judaism to be a perversion of their religion. Okay, so I, I recommend you guys read this article. But um, see, it says here, origin, seventh century BCE. Now let's look at Judaism. Origin, sixth century BCE. Oops, Samaritanism is older. And if you study Samaritanism, it's basically the same damn religion as Judaism. So Juda all Judaism is is just a ripoff of Samaritanism. The real Jews, my ass. Get out of here. Real Jews. Judaism's just a ripoff of Samaritanism, dude. Get out of here. Worship were the same ethnicity as Jesus, so they invented these conspiracies. That being said, I think some people who do talk about how Jews have no nativity in the region have... The see, see, she keeps on treating Jews as a monolith. Like, every time she says Jews, she's really talking about Ashkenazi. So she's, she's showing her true colors as a Zionist right here. Okay, if you are really an anti-Zionist, like you try to claim you are, you would make sure, make sure as hell that you are being specific about who you're actually talking about. You're talking about Ashkenazis, because Jews aren't a monolith. Okay? I'm going to show you that in a little bit, but there's there's so many different kinds of Jews. There's black Jews. I already showed you Caucasian Jews, which she is. She's obviously a Caucasian Jew. Um, there's black Jews. There's Indian Jews. There's even Chinese Jews. And there's Arab Jews. Arabs were Jews for hundreds of years before, before white people were. The best of intentions, they don't realize the dark history of kind of discrediting and, and trying to make in trying to say that Jews are a mass convert group rather than the original Jews. Just... <laughs> the original Jews. Sorry to address that. There's no such thing as original Jews. All Jews are converts. Okay? It's not... Judaism is not a gene. It's a meme. And memes spread faster than genes do. Like, I, I know a lot of stupid people think meme is like a new word or something to refer to, you know, some dumb image on the internet. That's not what a meme is. The, me the word meme was coined by Richard Dawkins. Uh, when he 
uh, wrote his book. Um, I forgot the name of it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but he wrote it uh, like in the 1970s or 1980s or something like that. Um, and it was just referring to an observation that he he made that where information would propagate very quickly. Um, and he combined the two words messenger and gene together. It was a portmanteau. He came up with meme. Memes are everywhere. And they, religion is nothing more than a meme. Immigrated. And again, for most of history, European people did not have any issue with recognizing Jews as a diaspora Levantine population. Jew, they never, Europeans never accepted Jews as fellow Europeans. And in America, Australia, South Africa... Okay, so what did she say there? They never accepted them as fellow Europeans? So isn't she contradicting herself? Remember how I said before she was contradicting herself when she said that uh, there was something in the 19th century about people saying Jews are not the real Jews or they're not from the Middle East or whatever? Now she's contradicting herself. Now she's saying that, no, Jews are not, she's talking about Ashkenazis, Ashkenazis are not real Europeans. Well, which is it? Which is it, Miss Cleo? Is it the claim you made before about this, this nonsense, this lie about, you know, they, 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 no one believed Jews are the real Jews or they're not from the Middle East? That, this nonsense. Or is it this? Where don't, they don't believe that they're real Europeans. That's honestly the thing that I've heard. Anytime I'm, I'm like, like hearing from these white nationalist people or these neo-Nazis, they always say Jews are not white. They're not European. They are the ones who are saying that. They, I never heard them say that they're not from the Middle East. They, they believe that people like her are from the Middle East. <laughs> She's not. I mean, red hair and white skin, get out of here. Uh, Jews have kind of achieved a pseudo-European status, but in Europe itself, there is still very much the sentiment that Jews are not from Europe. Yeah, and this is something I agree. that I didn't understand or realize until I interacted with Europeans and realizing that they do not see Jewish people as at all European descent. So when I'm emphasizing... What, what the hell is she talking about interacting with Europeans? She is one. Like, I don't know where she's from, America. I mean, she has an American accent, but like... But the white people in America are just as European as you are. Jewish nativity to the region. I'm just combating these anti-Semitic conspiracies because a lot of people really get deep into these conspiracies about these uh, false alternative histories about Jewish people and our origins. And that we're not... I, I already addressed all this stuff, okay? <laughs> that we're not the original Jews. These are all canards created by Zionists. They are the ones who have an invested interest in preserving Judaism being, or Jews being an ethnicity, because early Zionists were atheists. That's, that's the reason why they came up with this lie. Because how can they say they're Jewish if they're atheist? And just watch my previous video. Um, I provide all the evidence that the founder of Zionism was an atheist. Not the original Jews. And my emphasis that Jews are from the region has very little to do with, you know, you know, is it justified that Jews colonized Palestine and everything to do with combating these pseudoscientific race theories about Jews because anti-Semites are absolutely obsessed with rewriting Jewish history. Okay, I'm going to tell you what's really going on. Um, no, it has nothing to do with what she's talking about, although she is still brainwashed by Zionists. So... Uh, I don't believe Miss Cleo is Jewish. She's she's a hardcore feminist, and like most hardcore feminists, they typically don't subscribe to traditional religious theology. Um, they can still be spiritual. She might believe in God, but I don't think she believes in in Yahweh. I don't think she believes in Genesis or any or the. the, the Garden of Eden or, or Adam and Eve. I don't think she believes in any of that stuff. Okay, And that's fine. Neither do I. But she has a dissonance about it. You know, she doesn't believe in anything in Judaism that matters. She might be spiritual. She might be, she might believe in God. I don't know. I don't care. But she, she's obviously not Jewish, like most feminists aren't. Uh, they, they're not uh, subscribing to traditional religion because traditional religion is very sexist. Um, so, but she can't accept the fact that she's not Jewish. 
anymore. So she has to subscribe to this relabeling of race theory, this, this ethnic realism, uh, which is nothing more than a, a relabeling of race. Like I discussed in my previous video, early Zionists did not call Jews an ethnicity. They called it a race. So I just wish I could tell more people about this and that that emphasizing that Jews are from the region does not have to be in any way a Zionist statement. For me personally, it's just me combating these anti-Semites. And I'd say most anti-Semites get really deep into these conspiracies about where Jews are from. And even if people are just trying to emphasize that Palestine is getting colonized and they don't really even understand much about Jewish history. In fact, I think most people don't know anything about Jewish history, to be honest. Yeah, well... You, you would know. <laughs> you, you don't know much about Jewish history yourself. All right, so she, she's basically just kind of repeating herself and just rambling and using the word anti-Semitic over and over again, even though she is not a Semitic person. And uh, I'll make a video about this, but the word anti-Semitism was coined by a very well-known racist named Maurice Steinschneider. Um, but before we part ways tonight, today, I want to show you... Uh, some clips of my previous video which talked about the various different kinds of Jews. So let's watch that right now. Meme. And anyone can convert to Judaism. All modern Jews are converts, including Ashkenazi Jews. However, there are many different kinds of Jews. Black Jews are called Beta Israel. There are also Indian Jews. There's even Chinese Jews called Kaifeng Jews. Torah Jews on Twitter, the Jewish people are not an ethnic group. Jews can be of any ethnicity, race, or nationality. Israel is not a Jewish state. Jews belong to many nationalities around the world. Israel. All right, so you get the idea. So even, Miss Cleo, even if you don't believe me, at least believe the, the Torah Jews. <laughs> okay, they're anti-Zionist. They're, they're good people. Even, even if I don't agree with their religious beliefs, they're, they're good peoples. But you're not. You're not a good good peoples. You're, you're a Zionist. And, but you don't have to remain this way for the rest of your life. And honestly, what makes you so egregious is that you're wolf in sheep's clothing. Like, you present yourself as anti-Zionist, but then you brainwash all your fans who come to your Discord, and they all regurgitate the same crap that you've been regurg regurgitating. You know, this, this ethnic realism about Jews, and it's, it's so hypocritical when you accuse other people of propagating race pseudoscience or scientific race and whatever the hell it was that you were saying you're the one who's doing that you're such a hypocrite just like zionists are but anyway that's it for now i'm gonna refute every little thing that miss cleo says because you can't censor me okay you can't hide the truth and the truth is going to come out this is a transformative time and we're going to transform together all right see you guys later